Hello and welcome to the Juniper JNCIA Intro to Junos training course. In this course we are going to cover all of the relevant topics related to the Juniper JN0-102 Junos exam as well as teach you the basic skills you need to work with Juniper equipment. In this module we are going to talk about the fundamentals of the Junos OS. You will learn what Junos is and how it works as well as how it is different from other network OS's. So let's get started. So what is the Junos OS? Well, it's different than other network OS's. If you ask the people over at Juniper, they like to say that the software is just cool. Juniper has put tremendous resources into building this software from the ground up to produce an operating system that is highly stable and scalable. The Juno software is built on the FreeBSD kernel and retains many of the FreeBSD features that make it a stable and reliable kernel. One of the reasons why Juniper refers to the Junos OS as having a modular architecture is because the Junos services ride on top of the FreeBSD kernel and are completely independent of each other. Services can be added or removed based on the hardware or appliance specifications as needed. Each process runs in its own protected memory space. This ensures that one process cannot directly interfere with another process. Having these services completely independent of each other offers huge advantages. For example, system services run separately and independently from security services and clustering services are not dependent upon system services and so on. Since these services are not built into the fabric of the OS itself but ride independently on top of the kernel, if there is a failure in one of these services it does not necessarily affect the others. Something you may have noticed if you have ventured into the command line of a Genos device is that there is a hierarchy of commands that you don't see in other devices. Because of the modular design of the system, Juniper has been able to create a CLI structure that is highly logical and intuitive to navigate. For example, all commands related to system services start with the command system and drill down from there. But we will go into that in more detail later on as far as navigating the CLI. Junos OS is used with most of the Juniper product line with the exception of a few appliances like the SA series devices. But those are outside the scope of the JNCIA Junos certification track so we don't really need to worry about those now. Junos runs devices from the branch to the core of the network, from routers to switches to firewalls. Because Junos is used across the board for most of Juniper's product line, you have a single software release track to keep track of and one architecture to learn. All Junos OS devices share the same base source code, so Junos is the foundation for learning just about any new Juniper device. 